Today in science, we're going to talk about how humans can harm the environment. So let's go over our DLO and then we'll look at some pictures. Today I will make a claim about how people can harm the environment. So after watching your video on Brain Pop, you saw a few different ways where we use resources that come from nature and how sometimes if we use too much of the resources, it can hurt the environment. So think about what humans need trees for. What can we use trees for? Well, we can use trees for, if we cut down trees, we can use them to build houses. We can use them to make lumber. We can use trees to make pencils. We can use trees to make furniture. What else can you think about how we use trees? We make paper with trees too. What, how do animals use trees? Think about the beaver. How does the beaver use trees? He cuts them down and he can build a beaver lodge. He can build a beaver dam and they eat the twigs and the leaves from the trees. What about birds? How do birds use trees? Birds use trees to build their homes. Uh, raccoons live in trees, squirrels use trees, lots of animals use trees for shelter and food. So now look at this picture. So there you saw the trees in the forest and they've been cut down here for lumber. So I want you to think, how did or what did people do to change the environment here? What did people do to change it? They cut down a large part of the forest here. How does cutting down trees harm the environment? Harm means hurt it a little bit. Well, when the trees are cut down, shelter and food for animals can be destroyed. Let's look at another picture. If humans and animals need food, water, air, and shelter, let's look at another picture of how humans can harm the environment. So this is a, uh, a coal burning plant. So coal is a natural resource that we use and we burn it to make energy <clears throat> and power. But while we burn it to get the power that we need to turn the lights on and heat our homes, um, sometimes, well, there's this there's steam that comes up and it ends up polluting the air. And if we need air to breathe, then animals do too. If we're polluting the air, then it makes it difficult for us to breathe. And then in some cases, it can pollute the water. And if we need water and animals need water to survive, then it, it can harm the environment. It makes it difficult for, to get the things that we need. Let's look at one more picture. So here's a picture of some water. And do you see all the trash in the water? What changes in the environment are harmful here? Take a look. If animals need water and so do we, and if the water's full of trash, what do you think could happen? Animals could eat the trash and it could hurt them. The water is dirty and we can't drink dirty water. So humans have to be very careful about where we take our trash and dump it. We have to be careful with how much of the forest we cut down just so that we have enough to share with the animals and get what we need to survive. So can you think of another instance of where humans might harm the environment? Talk about that with your partner and that's it for today.